Now, you have one of the coolest titles <laughs> in, the, in the job history. Tell us about it. Tell us about your journey. Yes, so I uh, just recently retired from the WNBA. I played 13 years. I won a championship in 2014 with the Mercury. And now I'm the first female coach to ever coach for the Lakers. I'll be the second in the world to win as a player and a, and a, and a woman, you know. So wow. I'm really excited to be here, and I'm an L.A. girl. So yeah. How does that feel to be in a male-dominant sport? Like, how do you transition? How does that work for you? Has it been easy? I mean, it's really exciting. You know, I have a big energy. You know, I'm, I'm in a little hashtag BDE, so I'm, like, the loudest one yeah. in the gym, you know. <laughs> I tell Dwight Howard and D, uh, Jordan, like, I'm going to serve you. I'm going to give you buckets. So yeah. I just walk in. What a confidence you have to be, you know what I mean? As women, as especially minorities, you have to work that much harder. You got to be that much confident. So yeah. I back it up every day. Team Aries, that's what yeah, I do. That's awesome. What is your tactic? So when you go in there with all these guys, what's the first thing you do or say? I show up loud. I have my Mustang with the top down. So I play Drizzy, Girls Want Girls Where yeah. I'm From. I just play so much music loud that everybody hears at 8 a.m. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to shoot shots. Kurt Rambis is like, you have the best jump shot on the team. I was like, this is what I do, coach, you know? So I just match it every day. And I think the most important thing is for Kobe. It's like, stay consistent, you know? I have a Kobe tattoo. So I think just being consistent and having energy and my true authentic self, it's easy. How does it feel? How is the energy without Kobe Bryant now? It's crazy, you know, for me, being a little girl from the Valley, you know, I, I love Kobe. And for me, he's like, it became a good habit, then it became a lifestyle. And then, like, mama mentality is something you do every day, you know. And and I think the, the team this year, you know, with, like, LeBron leading the way, everyone is buying into that. And the energy is so positive, it's contagious, you know. So we have the mama mentality every single day, and I'm really excited for the season. That's amazing. Now, to get to the point where you are, you have to be super disciplined. You have to have some type of faith. Tell us about your routine spiritually. I just, I need to know for myself. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you right now, Jesus is king. Todo es posible con Dios, you know. I think my faith is so important and I just told my boy tonight like I'm here on the red carpet I'm like bro faith is scary because once faith you can move mountains you know and like I'm about to make noise in LA I'm ready to do it the right way the industry is it's crazy it's scary but if you have faith in Jesus is king like Donda 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 says you'll be able to do anything you want in life that's awesome now tell us what brought you here to the house series yeah so uh, my boy Senate Devermo he's like uh, I mean he's a big activist uh, he supports Black Lives Matters cool with attorney crump he's like shay i got this great opportunity you need to be seen people need to hear your story you know being you know just being a minority so he brought me in i'm here to tag along but now i think my energy is out here shining you know i'm trying to shine hot <laughs> girl summer all year <laughs> now what is your story yeah my story is you know like um like most people you know you ha i was sexually abused i was hit by a car i lost my dad at 12. Oh, okay. My dad never saw me play basketball. I started playing basketball in 1996, Kobe's first year. Yeah. Kobe came and spoke to my team, him and Derek Fisher. Kobe died at 41. My dad died at 41. Wow. Kobe saw me play at Staples Center. I say Kobe before every free throw. So it's just, it just so much L.A. stuff, you know, and yeah. I have a Kobe tattoo. So it's just the universe is so big. Yeah. God is so big. Jeremiah 29, 11 says that, you yeah. know. So now I'm starting to believe what the word says, you yeah. know. Believe it, see, and you can achieve it. And I'm here tonight on the Rick Carpet yes. with you. Yes. Fab, you know, I'm doing my thing, you know, shoot my shot. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have an unbelievable energy. I, like, want to be friends. Oh, I we're friends, <laughs> girl. You already we're know. Friends. I'm taking you to the catch tomorrow. Yes. Find me. Let's go. Thank you so Bye, much. Yeah. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah. Great energy. I love it. Yeah, I'll take you out. Yeah, thank you. I didn't want to interrupt.